Now we're going to talk about canvas views. So in a section like this where you have lots of testimonials, you might want to add a few more, you might want to remove a few. So click on the section and in your page settings you will see that you have lots of folders for the different views. Each one you click on you can change the text, you can change the pictures, things like that. So for example if I only want two views, if I want to keep the Ritchie family and the Thompson family, I'm going to remove the Marwick family so I click on these dots here and press delete. It will remove it. Now it might look black here, that's only because you don't have a folder selected. So it's only showing what's out with the folder which is the two arrows that navigate between the canvas views. Click on it again, it will appear. So okay now I have two, I've done a lot more work, maybe I want four. What I do now is I click this button here on the latest one, press duplicate and I duplicate it again. So you might want to change just the titles of these, that's fine if I click on this, double click on it. You can change the fa you can change the uh, the folder names so you know exactly what's where uh, before you even click on it, you know what it's, what's going to be inside it. This is more for an admin purpose more than anything else. So this one is now a duplicate of the Thompson family. So what I want to do, I'm going to double click on it, I'm going to scroll on mobile just so I can see it all. And I'm going to just lengthen it up, like say this review is bigger than the others. There we go. You'll see that's just a bit longer. Um, yes, I'm going to change the picture. So double click on it and swap it for what you want and change the name of course. Who can this be? This can be the, the Zeke family. Feeling very creative. Um, so now you'll notice this is coming a little bit too close to here. So we're going to want to extend this section. So I'm just going to pull it down like I did before or go to canvas settings and you can change the initial height. And here I'm just going to take these arrows and the name and shift them down a bit. But what you're going to want to do after you do that is go through the other ones and for example I'm just going to center this again just because now there's quite a bit of empty space and I want to make sure the name is in between these two arrows down here. Okay. And you can always just take these and put it in the middle of the others just so it looks a little bit kind of a little bit more together rather than keeping all this blank space. So if I go through them you'll see there's that one, that one, this one which again I'm just going to distribute evenly just now the last one which was a duplicate as well we're just going to pull this one down and we're going to alter this one as well. So. Um, again, change the picture. You can change it to whatever you want. You can change the text and you can change the name. So this is now the Patterson family. There we go. Um, and again, I'm just going to want to change this. Shrink it a little bit. Select these. I'm pressing the command button to select multiple things. Oh, that's on a Mac. On a Windows, I'm pretty sure it's the Alt key. And then once you've done that, it's all lovely, lined up and ready to go. You also have the option here because these are square and they're resizing to thinner rectangles. What you can do is you can resize them on a few. So for example, if I shrink that down and I want this one to just be a little bit bigger because I've got this bit more space, I can do that, but it won't resize it for all of them. It will only resize it for these ones, the, the ones that you do. So bear that in mind, that is how canvas views work. When you're updating and adding new canvas views, make sure you always check the mobile version because sometimes they go a little bit wacky. But, you know, you're just going to have to kind of do a bit of trial and error here. Once you get a good sizing, it's always good to, it's always really good to format something in mobile before you duplicate it. Otherwise, you're going to have six duplicates of something and have to go through the mobile version and change them all. Whereas if you change the first one and then duplicate it, it's fine for the rest of it. So that is how um, canvas views work. This section up here is also done with canvas views and you can change this as well. So for example, if I want another one of these, I can duplicate it. I can drag it down so I can rearrange it. And if I check that these are set to view next, so canvas view next and canvas view previous, yes. Then what I can do is on the preview, you'll see how this works now when I add a new one. So it then goes from being in the middle to being on the right being on the left and it should go to being on the right again 
yes and then back to the back to the middle so we've added a new one again you can click on it you can change the text you can change the images all kinds of bits so if I change that to this just so there's more kind of distinction between the canvas views so two people lovely table there we go all of them it's just lovely so this lets you add a lot more information to your pages and things like that so if the three sections isn't enough make it six if three sections is three sections is too much make it two if you're going to make it one that's fine remove them all except the first folder and just delete these arrows because you don't want people navigating for nothing you don't want buttons that don't do anything so that's how canvas views work love them do let me know below if you've got any questions on them if you want to show me some amazing canvas views you've done just link them below i love to see what you've all created just let me know i love to hear from you all bye